Hi, I'm Sarah Davis. I'm Chief Executive of Phoenix Artspace. We're a vibrant, lively art centre in the middle of Brighton and we exist to provide affordable studio spaces. We've got about 120 artists in the building and we've got a rolling programme of exhibitions and we have a really lively community and learning programme also. Our doors are wide open for our audiences to enjoy and we really, really welcome you to Phoenix, whether you're new to us or whether you're one of our many loyal supporters. Whether you're here to visit an artist in their studio to buy some work whether you're here to see one of the exhibitions or you may even be here to come and join in one of the arts courses, you're all welcome at Phoenix. Over the years we've managed to welcome more of you to Phoenix with a lively programme of events and I think the jewel in our crown is Open Studios which we do every May and we open the whole building so you can come over a long weekend and browse through the artist studios, you can meet the artists, smell that wet paint and really, really get to know the artist's practice. You might even buy a piece of work as well. And we've got everything here. We've got painters, we've got printmakers, we've got photographers, sculptors, animators. There's really, really something for everyone. Also, all our arts courses are really accessible. So we really try and encourage a wider engagement in terms of our arts courses. So even if you used to do art back in the day, come back to Phoenix, come and, come and join in with us. So you might want to do watercolours with Emily Jolly, or you might want to do an introduction to acrylic painting with Denise Harrison, or there's some really great portrait courses with Alan Ramsey. Recently, we've been able to offer subsidised courses as well, which is really, really important with our community engagement work, which it means it kind of gets rid of all those barriers and it allows people who may not have thought about engaging with the arts before to actually come in and join our arts courses. We've also got family fun sessions, which are monthly, and that is a really great opportunity just to come and create. We've got a really strong commitment to our community and we're always interested to find out new ways of collaborating with others and developing our projects. We've got a really strong relationship with our immediate neighbours that are just behind here at Phoenix. And because of the work that we've been doing with them over a period of three or four years, it's really reduced antisocial behaviour. We've got complete community cohesion. There are many opportunities that we have when we're seeing each other. There's a food bank that we've been part of and our community programme have kind of developed these art packs that get distributed with the food packs as well. And the community engagement will go on and on. It's, a, it's the heart of Phoenix. We've got a new relationship with Urban Flow Creative, who are an organisation committed to equality, diversity and inclusion. And we're going to start this relationship, we're going to launch it in June, and it's going to be a mix of exhibitions, there's going to be a creative studio for opportunities for black and underrepresented artists to actually find their way in their own career paths to really break the cycle of exclusive practice and really tackle head on the frustration and isolation and marginalisation that some artists feel in our city. The other partnership we have is with Cass Art and the University of Brighton. Cass Art funds a studio for one year for a graduate to come and work with us here at Phoenix. The artist comes to Phoenix and they've suddenly got a whole community of artists to engage with and to talk about their work. We have a whole load of events and it means that those graduates can suddenly think about their pathway in becoming a professional artist. We also work with the brilliant Rocket Artists who are a group of people with learning difficulties and what's brilliant about the Rocket Artists is that they're based here at Phoenix so we always learn from them. Last year we did a big project with them in terms of inclusive curating and they have a variety of projects they do. They're really, really, really inspiring but what's really important for Phoenix is that we listen to them. We think about our building and how accessible it is to others.